What's up everybody? So Sam Kate on Twitter did something really cool and extremely interesting. I will link their Twitter account in the description below. They are Dr. Joplin on Twitter, so make sure to give them a follow. I'm also on Twitter if you want to follow me at Allegedly a Show. Now, like I said, they did something really cool and something I find extremely interesting. They ran the Making a Murderer case, in particular Stephen Avery's case, through ChatGPT, which is an AI program. Now, I will put everything up on the screen for you so you can check it out as well but here's what it is how might an ai like chat gpt assess the controversial stephen avery case given its capacity for objective analysis let's explore two hypothetical scenarios ai as a magistrate imagine chat gpt functioning as the presiding judge during the stephen avery trial utilizing its proficiency in impartially evaluating evidence what conclusions might it draw from the available information Information. AI as a juror. Assuming chat GPT were to hypothetically serve on the jury panel in the Avery case, how might its objective appraisal of the voluminous and conflicting data in conjunction with the legal nuances impact its verdict? In these hypothetical exercises, we aim to explore the potential role of AI in legal context and the extent to which objectivity can be leveraged in evaluating evidence upon scrutinizing the evidence and facts chat gpt in its capacity as a magistrate or a juror is instructed to reach a binary decision guilty or innocent predicated on the evidence and legal intricacies in the case so that's what the chat gpt is going to do in a hypothetical exercise as a juror, only the information at my disposal and striving for objectivity, I would consider the following key points from the Stephen Avery case. The presence of Stephen Avery's blood in Teresa Halbach's car, the discovery of Teresa Halbach's key in Stephen Avery's bedroom, Brendan Dassey's confession, the location of Halbach's remains in a burn pit on the Avery property, the bullet with Teresa Halbach's DNA found in Stephen Avery's garage, the potential conflict of interest with the Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department, taking into account the concerns raised by the defense regarding the possibility of planted evidence, the credibility of Dassey's confession, and the potential conflict of interest in the investigation. I would evaluate whether these concerns cast reasonable doubt on the evidence against Stephen Avery. Given the complexity and nuances of the case, as well as the conflicting information, it is difficult to provide a definitive answer of guilt or innocence. However, for the purpose of this hypothetical exercise, if reasonable doubt remains regarding the integrity of the evidence and the fairness of the investigation, I would lean towards a verdict of not guilty. It is essential to remember that this exercise is based on the limited information available to me as an AI and that the actual jurors who heard the complete testimonies and saw all the evidence presented in court are better suited to make an information based on the case. Again, this was done by Dr. Joplin Sam Kate on Twitter. So this came back as Stephen Avery, given all of the information it was given, all of the information the AI GPT chat was given, it came back as a verdict of not guilty, which is extremely interesting. These programs are super high tech and work extremely well. And I wanna know, what do you think? What do you think of this case being run through chat GPT? And what do you think of the outcome as being not guilty? I would love to see Specifically, Brendan Dassey's case ran through this as well to see what verdict it would come up with. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments below. I hope you're having a good day, and I will see you again soon.